Good evening everyone, this is Bremster and tonight I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Circus Tricks by Dr. Logic. Yes, I'm saying good evening. There is light outside. Daylight savings started here in Australia recently, and it's actually getting close to dinner time here, but the sun is still up because the clock changed. And it's getting close to summer because I'm in the Southern Hemisphere, and therefore, where, this time like three weeks ago, um, it would be dark outside. It's not now. Life. The world is a spherical thing that rotates and stuff. Well, so the, it's a circus trick um, by Dr. Logic. I've, have I done, I'm not sure I've done a Dr. Logic puzzle before. Um, so this will be interesting. I've done all sorts of stuff. I've re-put the big mat I bought at PAX. I went to PAX Oz um, and I was working in the tabletop library um, over the last weekend. Um, I've just got back from it. My feet are killing me. Um, and I bought a big PAX Oz um, gaming mat, which I want to use as a keyboard and mouse mat um, to replace my old one. And um, I was having problems with my mouse, but I've recently done some software updates and, and all sorts of stuff to try and get everything through and hopefully my mouse will be more responsive. I've I, I've made some technical changes since the disaster that I had this morning. Um, so uh, yeah, um, I, I don't believe I've got any interruptions unless this takes me a very long time. So hopefully I'll be good. Um, yeah, I, I'm feeling really good today. I don't know why. Maybe because I just finished my first day at work and it wasn't terrible. Terrible. Lots of interruptions, but it wasn't terrible. Um, yeah, lots of rules to get through on this one, so let's get straight into it. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. The not selecting there is me. That I don't feel that was the mouse. On green German whisper lines, adjacent digits on the line must have a difference of at least 5. So the difference between those two cells will be 5 or more. The difference between those two cells will be 5 or more. The difference between those two cells will be 5 or more. Digits in cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So these three cells will sum to seven, these to eight. Digits placed on a gold Nabna line, which are these. There is no consistency on the color of Nabna lines yet. We'll see how that goes. Um, must not contain any consecutive pairs, wherever, uh, whatever their position on the line. So these two digits could not be consecutive. These two digits could not be consecutive. These two digits could not be consecutive. So um, it doesn't matter where they are on the line. No two digits on the line may be consecutive. Uh, digits placed on a purple Renban line. Um, or on purple Renban lines, the rules are just generic, must be a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. So whatever these three digits are, they will be a run of consecutive digits in any order. So if you take them off the line and sort them, they will be three digits in a row. Um, dig uh, digits along circled between line, which is this, must be between the two digits in the circles at the ends. So the digits on the lines will be strictly between the two digits at, in the circles at the end of the line. Uh, this one is probably the most obvious line in the entire grid, and there's some obvious stuff going on. Um, digits along a thermo must increase starting from the bulb end. So this digit will be lower than this, or this digit will be higher than this. There's only little short thermos, but yes, that's what we know. Um, cells separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio. Um, so, uh, and cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Not all dots are necessarily given. There is a lot of stuff going on in this grid. So I'm going to, hopefully those rules all made sense. Details will be below. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the most obvious thing I saw was all of these digits must be strictly between those. Now there are two digits that you cannot put on a between line, which are one and nine, because one and nine are not between any other uh, Sudoku digits. If I was to put a nine on the line, what's nine going to be between? Something and something higher than nine. Low With one, I'd need something lower than one on the end of the line. Nine needs something higher. This is a one, one nine pair. One nine pair. That's me, not anything going wrong. So these are just two through eight. That's nice and simple. Got it. But the between line is now done because it's all in one row of the Sudoku. Um, so, I mean, that constrains that thermo. I could pencil mark it. I'm not going to pencil mark it. Now, I do know what this seven cage is. And I've had a couple of people saying I'm being too 
specific with this. I'd be interested in the feedback, but the reason I know what the seven cage is, is the minimum digits you could put into three cells, which is what this is, is one, two, three. One, two, three is six. So I need to increase one of those digits by one. Now, if I was to increase the one by one, I would end up with two, two, three but I can't repeat digits because they're in the same row. But in the cage anyway, even if it was bent across boxes, you cannot use two, two, three. So if I increase the one by one, it wouldn't work. If I increase the two by one, I'd end up with one, three, three, which doesn't work. The only digit I can increase by one is the three. So I end up with one, two, four. I've had a couple of people say, we all know that. If you've never seen this before, you may not know that. And knowing the white reason why you have to increase the top digit, I think might be useful to some people. There must be a one in an eight cage. I do know that because um, it's either going to be one, two, five or one, three, four. Um, and that's, they're the only options you have. Um, after that, you start running out of options. But if you don't use a one, you've got two, three, four, add those together, you get nine, but this is an eight cage. So there's some things we know. We know there's no one on these dots but they could be three, six. So I'm not sure I'm doing anything with that. Where do I want to jump to now? Like, I'm very, very curious about the parity of this line because on a German whisper line, I know this is from one, two, four or eight, but um, because one is only consecutive, actually it's not one or two. So this is only four or eight because um, on the, if this was one, it would double to two. If it was two, it could be four. And if it's four, it could be two or eight. But it can't, so it's one, two, four or eight. But it can't be one, two or four. Actually, this is just eight because it can't be one, two, four. So this is eight, this is four, and this is one, two. But one of the things about black dots is one of the sides is going to be low. I may be going into two complexity. I may not need any of these tricks for this puzzle. Um, but one of the sides is going to be low. One of the sides is going to be even because one will double to two, two will double to four, three will double to six, four will double to eight. And after that, you break it because five doubles to 10 and it doesn't work. Now, it's possible to have two low or two even. One, two is both low. Two, four is both low and both even, but you can't have high odd digits on one of these lines. Now, the other thing we know about German, uh, let's now, sorry, other thing, let's talk about German whisper lines. On German whisper lines, you can never put a five on a German whisper line because of the five difference. Five lower than five is zero or less. Five higher than five is 10 or higher doesn't work. So every digit will either be lower than five or higher than five. If you're higher than five, the digits next to you because of the five difference must leapfrog the five. You can't go up, you must go down. And because you go down, any difference higher than five, if you subtract five from it while staying within one to nine will be lower than five. So the digits that are next to it must be one, two, three, or four, and that one can't be one, two, or four. So this is a three. The only digits that are four between one and nine that are five away from three are eight and nine. This can't be the eight, so this is the nine. Um, the only digits that are five away from eight are one, two, and three, and it can't be a three. So this is a one or a two. Um, and we can continue along. These are one, two, three, or four. Um, these are six, seven, eight, or nine. Um, this is six, seven, eight, or nine. And these are from one, two, three, and four. And that's because along the line, the parodies must continue to alternate. I'm not sure I covered that, but anyway, this can't be four. Um, now, I can't put a one, a two, or a three on this line, because if I put a one on this line, I must because it'll be a run of lines, be one, two, three, and I don't have them available. Two, I must use a three, because even if I go down, I hit a one run out, so I must pick up the three, and I can't put a three on it anyway because of this. So this is four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. So there must be a six or a seven on this, but I still don't know what. I've been avoiding the Nabna lines, and I realize now that that's a mistake because I've been avoiding them because I'm not used to them. But a Nabna line, you cannot have any consecutive um, digits. Why is there floaties in my room? Um, you cannot have any consecutive digits, but they're five cells long. So the only possibilities is for them to be all the odd digits. Because if I put a two on it, if I was to put a two on this line, then all of a sudden I can't use one and three. The next digit I could use would be four. I can't use a five. The next digit I could use would be six. I can't use a seven. The next digit I could use would be eight. And then I run out of digits. If I skip the eight and go to the nine, I'm just running out of digits. So if I use an even digit, like 
one, I can skip the two and hit three. I can then skip the four and hit five. I can then skip the six and hit seven. I can then skip the eight and hit nine. But in the very closest I could get them together there, I've used five digits. So these must be all of the odd digits. And the way to mark those are those are two, four, six, and eight. Now, this can't be the eight because there's something higher than it. This can't be the two because there's something lower than it. And the same is true over here. These are two, four, six, and eight. This can't be the, oh, no, that, that's not true. This one can't be the two because there's something lower than it. This one can't be the eight because there's something higher than it. But it doesn't work here because one of those could be one. Probably has to be, but I haven't got to there yet. So these are all odd. Right. So the odd digits that you can, the only odd digits you can put on a black dot, I already covered this, you can't put five, seven, or nine. So this is one or three. Because five needs, the, the high odd digits just do not work. And this is one or three. So if this is a one, this is a two. And if this is a three, this is a six. This can't be four or eight. This can't be four or eight. So this is a two, six pair, which means what's the eight now? I can't use one, two. I use, so if I use one, three, I need a four. And if I was to use one, four, I need a three. That's fully resolved. This is one, three, four. And now those can't be low or this, I just picked that cell. This can't be one, two, three, or four because the one, three, four, and the two in the row are gone. So these are high digits. Those are from seven, eight, nine because they can't be six either. So these are seven, eight, nine. These are from six, seven, eight, nine, and they can't be six because six can only go next to a single digit, which is one. And I can't, and if I did that, I, ignoring the fact that I can't put one there at all, if I was to put six here, then both of those would have to be one. And the same is true there. Six here would mean both of those have to be one. So those are seven, eight, nine. Um, and these are all from one, two, three, four, but that one can't be one, three, or four. So that is a two and I can take two out of those. I can now take two out of that, so this can't be four, because it has to be larger than that. This is cool. I, mean, I may not be solving this the most efficient way at all. Don't care, having a ball. This is now a one, two, three, four quadruple. So these are from five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, if, if this starts with five, it's five, six, seven. If it starts with nine, it's nine, eight, seven. There must be a seven on this line. Oh, the two looks now making this the one and this the two. There is no one here. There is no four here. Uh, ooh, wait. There's no four here. There's no two in either of those. This is a one, three, four triple. There's almost certainly more going on there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Um, so we need five and seven in those because I can't put them in either of those because these are one, three, five, seven, nine. But these are five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this can't be a one, this would have to be a two. And if this is a one and this is a two, I've run out of these, because these are one, two, three, four. So there's no one here. If this is two, this is one or four, and I don't have that available. This is the three, this is the six. There now must be an eight on these, because these are from six, seven, eight, and nine. So there must be an eight on here. Sorry, yeah, uh, wait, no, this is now a five, because... With this being a six, I can't put five on this line because I can't go down and I can't go up. So this is the five and this is seven, eight, nine. Ka-ching. Now, this is fun. The three looks up making this the one, which takes the one out of there, takes three out of all of those. This one makes this the two. This is a one, four pair. One of those has to be one. So one of those has to be nine because you can only put um, nine next to four. It's the only thing that's five away. Again, I don't, I don't know if I'm doing this the efficient way, but boy, I'm having fun. Um, so two can go next to any of seven, eight, nine. I'm having an absolute, this three looks up making that the four and that three, which I could have got from the one, four pair. This nine looks up saying that is not nine. So this can't be a four. Um, It's 
There's got to be something here, right? This is a little tricky. That's a nine. Where does nine go in this row? Not including those three cells. Where does nine go in this row? I can't put it on this thermo because if it was, I can't put it in those because they're even. I can't make it lower than one of the even numbers. I can't put it in any of those three cells. But in this column, I know one of those is a four. And as I said, one of those being a four means one of those has to be a nine. And if one of those two is a nine, that is not a nine. And that is a nine because it's the only yellow cell left in the row. Maybe not the spot I needed to make, but there you go. It's it's a thing. So now nine in this box is not here. It's in one of those three. I'm not sure, which means nine is in one of those two. Nine is now in one of those three. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the way to solve this. I'm diff Oh, this isn't a nine. This is a seven or an eight. Nine is in one of those two because of the one nine pair. If I don't think this is an X wing on ones, it might be. I'm not sure. One of those two digits is on there, but I'm not sure what that's doing for me either. Hmm. This could be four nine having two nines on either side of the four, I think. <laughs> this is me not having woken up again, isn't it? What am I doing wrong? If this is four, this is two, this is six and this is eight. If this is six, this is eight, this becomes two and this becomes four. But while that feels forced, it doesn't actually do anything. I know two is in one of those. So one is in one of those. I don't feel, oh, this can't be a four anymore because that can't be a nine. So that's a one, three pair. But again, I don't feel that's doing that much. Huh. Oh, it's here. Three. This can't be six or seven. That's an eight. Because um, if this was six or seven, it'd be too close to the three. The eight looks like making that the seven, meaning that can't be the three. That's the one, which looks across making that the three, meaning these can't be sevens anymore. So this becomes the eight. Uh, this can be eight or nine, but that means this cannot be eight, which means this cannot be six. This is now a two, four, six triple. So this becomes the eight, which takes eight out of there. And this is a two, four, six triple. So that becomes the eight. See, uh, this whisper thing I miss all the time. Now, this could be seven or nine, but what is the triple in this column? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, seven, and nine. Well, there's no nine there. So nine is in one of these two. There's a six in one of those two by Sudoku. So this is five, six, seven. And there's a six in one of those two. Oh, this is five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is not six. This is two or four. In twisting. So what is th what are these? They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, three, four. This is not a four because it's lower than that. This is not a three. Okay. Is there another trick like that I'm missing? Oh, this one looks down making that the two, which takes two out of both of those. So this is the four, which looks up making this the six, which makes this the two, which makes this the one. That makes this the nine, which makes this the one, which makes this the three, which makes this the six, which makes this the four, which makes this the two. That was a whole heap of stuff. 
Now, the four looks across taking four out of both of those. Now, these are one, three, five, seven, and nine, because these were all your digits. There's no nine here. There's no eight here because of that eight. I'm enjoying this puzzle a lot. So the, there's no nine here now because these were all the odd digits. So these are three, five, and seven. There's no three here. So there is absolutely a three in one of those two, which means there's no three because of that, but there's absolutely a three here, which means this is the one, which means this is the two, which means this is the three. There is no two or three there. This is a one or a four. Still could be four, I think. This three turns around, takes the three out of there, which puts the three into there. This is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is five, six, seven. There is a six looking up there. Um, as I said, whether I'm having, whether I'm being phenomenally efficient or not, I'm having a blast on this puzzle. This is good fun. This one looks across making this the four and this the one, and that does everything because that four makes that the nine. Um, this one opens that to be a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, so that's the nine. This is not the nine. So this can't be a four. Because if this is a four, that has to be a nine that can't be. So that's the one. Which allows that to be six or seven. Probably missing all sorts of stuff. There's a four in one of those two because I can't put it in any of those for reasons and that four says it's not there. So this is the four. This is five, six, seven or nine. Which just tells me there's a nine in one of those two. Mm -hmm. This five looks down taking five out of there. So this is a six, seven pair in the column. Oh, there's no seven here because of the seven, eight, nine. So this is a five, six pair in the column. Okay, probably going to be this dot at this point, isn't it? Because I think I've used everything else. So there's no six on this. So is it the even digit or the odd digit that goes on that that's going to break this open? Or do I need to look at things like this row? Because it doesn't, it's got five and eight. And this eight makes this the five, which makes this the eight. That eight puts eight in one of those three. I don't think, oh, it takes five out of all of those. So this is a six, seven pair. So this is the five, which looks like making this the seven. More traction. Take the seven out of there. Seven is in one of those two. And if seven is in one of those two, it's not there. So this becomes the six. This becomes the seven. This becomes the six. That takes seven out of there, which means this is a five, nine pair, making that the seven. This becomes five or nine. This is fun. There's going to be stuff happening here. I am waiting for the, the stuff happening here. There is a three in one of those two by Sudoku because these threes knock it out of all of those. If this is a three, this has to be a two or a four. Both of which look possible. In fact, I know there's a two in one of those two. Don't know about four. What are these? These are three, four, five, six, three, four, and nine. Well, there's no nine there. There's no four or three there. That's the nine. So this is a three, four pair across the top. So there is a one. Well, actually, let's just do this. Yeah, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, five, and seven. But this one says that's not the one. And this one says that's not the one. Zathras visits my puzzle again. So this is the one. These are five and seven. And I, do I get it? Yeah, that nine makes that the seven, which takes seven out of there and out of there. So this becomes the six, this becomes the five, this becomes the nine. The five looks back, making that the seven and that the five. And that's some traction. The five looks down, making that the nine and that the five, which looks up, making that the nine. Good fun. So the six looks down, making that the seven, which of course makes that the five and that the six. I've used all the clues now, and I think it's just Sudoku. Uh, no, I haven't. It'll be this dot. This dot is going to be the final resolver. So in this column, I'm missing two, six, and seven. There is no two at the top. There is no six in the middle. There is no seven at the bottom. So these are one, two, three, four, five, and eight. There is no four at the top, no five in the middle, and that's it. So I don't think that's where this is going to fall apart. Um, 
is it going to fall apart faster or slower than I am? Hang on, I put a two on this dot. <laughs> it's going to fall apart slower than I am. So there's no two in those cells and there's no two in those cells. So there's a two on the dot. Two can only go next to one or three and there's no one available. So it has to go next to the three and the only place I can put the three is there. So that's the three and that's the two. And as soon as I pencil marked that ages ago, about three minutes ago, that was there and I didn't use it. Eight can't go in any of those. So that becomes the eight. Uh, the three looks up making that the four and that the three. This is a known triple. One, two, three, four, five and six. There is a four there. So there is no four there. Five, six, of course, makes that the four. There is no four here. The four looks back making this eight which makes that five and that four the eight looks into the middle making that seven and i can take seven out of both of those the eight looks in making that nine and that eight i'm going to use the seven to make that two which makes that six and that seven i'll use the six to jump over to make that five and that six and that's the correct solution to circus tricks by dr logic now i often say puzzles with too many constraints don't do them. I did one about two or three weeks ago, which was called 10 Types of Lines, which I think is one of the most, but the most elegant puzzles I've done in ages. Now, possibly the best puzzle I've done all year. Now, no offense to Dr. Logic, this is not the best puzzle I've done all year, but this is an example of how you can use multiple constraints like a large number of constraints. This has got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six types of constraints, maybe seven. Um, and it still be very, very good. The, none of the constraints in this were just noise. This was a beautiful usage of all of the constraints. Um, I've done quite a few puzzles where I've gone, I'm going to do something with lots of constraints and the constraints are just too much noise. Doing an elegant puzzle, and this is one of them, with a large number of constraints, not easy, and this is excellent. I really enjoyed this one. The constraints didn't do a lot in this one. Um, each of them provided just enough, and that's what I absolutely adore. Circus tricks, absolutely. Lots of different performers, each doing their own thing, and none of them trying to steal the show. Absolutely fantastic. Um, love this puzzle a lot. I really enjoyed it. Pretty much what I needed. And it proved that my technology is currently working. Assuming the video works. We'll find out together. Well, I'll find out. And if you're seeing this video, you will know it did. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying everything. And as always, good luck with your solving.